my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing this eye look using um, All Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I was inspired to use this color here, this bad boy here by the name of Pegasus from a fellow YouTuber by the name of Ally J. And so I'm going to have her link below. I just love watching her period because she always seems to crack me up with her larger than life personality. But I really liked what she did with this color and the combination she put together. So I kind of tweaked it to use some of more of Makeup Geek's colors and kind of created almost a full face of Makeup Geek. So I really, really loved doing something outside of my comfort zone and the teal is an absolute blast. So if you wanna see how I created this eye look, please stay tuned. If you wanna see how Ali J inspired me, please look for her link below. Here we go. We're gonna start out with Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean all over the eye. I'm gonna pick up some Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. Brown, we're going to pick up some Mocha by Makeup Geek. Next, we're going to pick up some of this pretty color here called Pegasus by Makeup Geek. And that is some bright colors. Woohoo! Now I'm going to take some Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to work that into on top of and into the transition. Kind of soften those lines. So glad one of the fellow YouTubers used this color. I've had it forever and I've never used it. So I'm going to put Allie J's link below so you can see what she actually did. Her so I always like to take inspiration from other ladies and then do a twist of my own, mostly because I know if I try to do an exact replica, it's not gonna work. So I just twist whatever I see and go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab Manny's palette and I believe this color is called Luna. And we're gonna pick up some Luna and go ooh, right under the brow bone, right under the eyebrows. And then we're gonna pick this up for the inner corner. And we're also gonna pick it, pull it down here on the lower lash line on the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, I think, not as much of a shimmer on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna use some Shark Bait for my lower lash line. Which kind of mimics the top kind of, sort of, in a way. Then we're gonna go back in with Mocha and bring this in on the outer third and sweeping this up into the outer V. So I'm gonna take this brush here and just kinda smooth out some of those harsh lines again. Okay, I'm missing my whole pink set for my Makeup Geek. So I'm gonna pick up Onyx from Tarte, which is this black color here. Next, I'm gonna use the Deck of Scarlet. This is a long lasting liquid eyeliner and it's made by Coco Cavari. I'm going to put on some false eyelashes off camera and these are the Kara eyelashes. They're from Shop Missé. They're like a dollar. Okay, we're are, ugh, okay, so we're going to let these set a moment. I did use this color from Urban Decay for my, my lip and it's called Fuel. It's their cream color, but I think it may be maybe just a hint too peachy. So I may take this color by Kylie Cosmetics, which is called Naked, and go over the top. Okay, so that ended up kind of just slightly toning down the peachy color, which is good. 
and I'm going to use this Tarte Amazonian Clay Mascara. Really when you wear false eyelashes, it doesn't matter what mascara you use. I have not tried this one just by itself. It was in a, I think it was a free gift. Just never got around to trying it. Okay, so this is kind of the end eye look using Makeup Geek. I also use Makeup Geek on my cheeks and highlighter. So let me get to those palettes. So my highlighter for Makeup Geek was this peachy color one here and I can't read the back. So it's the peachy one. And then for my blush, I went with a peachy also, which was called Summer Flame. So you can find those, I believe she still carries all of those on her website. Well, I'm going to go blow dry my hair a bit and then come back and give you my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching today as I recreated or semi-recreated a look from Allie J. And I will have her link below because I'd like to, for you to see how great she did on her eye. But I really, really love the fact that she used this turquoise for Makeup Geek. Absolutely beautiful. It looks um, probably much better on her stunning skin color versus my white pasty skin color. But I do hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a beautiful one. Until next time.